Generally only takes a few minutes. To Mark, good evening. This is the type of event that is going to touch every corner of the country, including here in Seattle. We talked to several people here at SeaTac Airport who were at the concert. Here's how they describe the terror in their own words. Jason Aldean started right on time. We were still out there. He was on his third song, and we just heard it kind of just sounded like firecrackers. Jason Aldean is playing about four songs in. We heard the first couple pops. It sounded maybe like firecrackers or some fireworks or something. Um, and then the next burst of gunfire rang out. Jason Aldean ran off stage. Everyone ducked and covered. It was crazy, and I didn't believe it. And Andy was the one that said, we got to go. Got to go, got to go. Everything you've heard, just multiple machine guns, there's people dying. You look back and you just see the lights flashing from up above and people just dropping, like, just dropping to the ground. And then they opened all the gates and were yelling at everyone to run as fast as you could. So me and my husband, we ran for 40, was like 40 minutes. and well, We ran out, there was people shot around us, there was blood, you could hear the bullets flying. It was the most crazy thing I've ever been a part of. Everyone kept saying he's coming, so we thought he was running after people. So we just played there and we just prayed. And I had her on barefoot. It, it, was, it was an absolutely horrible experience. And it's too bad it happened, because it was just one, one bad guy. Because we just saw the helicopters like flying over us, and it just, it's just so surreal. You just never think that you'd be in that situation. I've been to Vegas a hundred times, and I went to places I've never been. It was scary. It was horrible. And so many people died. I can't do it anymore. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Just seeing all the people just drop. It's it's hard. It's a hard. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to sleep normal. It'll probably be a while. Rhonda Kidzenbach, who is a school teacher from Wenatchee and who you just heard from there, still had a large bandage on her leg from last night. She said she had to run away from the scene there at the concert, still had a lot of scrapes on her legs and was bruised up and said she was feeling very fortunate to be able to go to home tonight. A lot of the people that we talked to here at SeaTac Airport that were getting off the planes from Las Vegas still in a stunned silence after what they witnessed. That's the story live tonight here at SeaTac Airport. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.